Fully earnings are due from London-listed global insurance company Aviva Group on Thursday, the 7th of March. Bloomberg estimates fully earnings per share will be up 5.2% year-on-year at 58 pence on revenues of £31.2 billion. 78% of the business comes from life assurance, while 17% is from general insurance, and it relies on the UK for 68% of its overall revenue. So it'll be interesting to see if business in its largest market here has been impacted by the slowdown that many and other companies companies are attributing to, to Brexit. While earnings are of importance, so too is the appointment of a new chief executive. The announcement has been delayed and analysts are saying it may be something to do with the need for change at the company after the early departure in October last year of the last chief executive, Mark Wilson. Let's take a look at where we are in terms of shares in the company. We've seen big declines on from the highs we saw in May last year when the stock was at £5.50. Here we are now at 4 22 Halfway through the trading day on Wednesday, the 27th of February. So still some time before the release of these numbers. But at any upside surprise, this will be the area to break. The 441.65, which was the highest that we saw um, back on the 2nd of November when it tried to break back through that level and failed. So that'll be the upside. On the downside, we've got the lows here. If the numbers are as bad as some are saying it could be because the business is effectively rudderless at the moment without a chief executive. 361.85. But certainly Aviva has been unpopular of late uh, for investors and what this drop has done is pushed dividend yield levels back up to 7%. It's certainly unlikely that Aviva will want to adjust this without a chief executive in place. For more videos, join us on Twitter at IGTV and subscribe to our YouTube channel.